welcome back. You're watching FBC Sports and leading tonight, seven newcomers will get their first taste of international sevens rugby under the guidance of a man who will captain the Fiji team for the first time. Warden strongman Levan Imbotia will lead the squad in the defense of the Gold Coast sevens title at the RV7 series. Selvin Chand was at the team training. The 12 players for the first leg of the IRB series were announced today, which includes a number of newcomers. Despite having seven debutants to defend the title in Australia, the new captain believes in his team. We know that uh, new, some new members, some newcomers for the Fiji 7 team. We already talked to them, we know that uh, they will give their best. But I trust them, also the coach and the uh, both here admitted that the team did not have an outright speed star, but they will make up for this with a team effort. Yeah, like uh, if you watch the team last, uh, last year and also this year, no fastest man. Only the good things uh, we can trust everyone. Uh, been uh, seven for seven, been uh, in the rugby field first, and also the, all the top members. Come. We do our communication and uh, all things. And unlike last season, the coach hopes his players won't be raking up cards, which has seen the team crumble under pressure. Yeah, we're looking forward for that. We know that how we're going to uh, minimize that uh, malls. We want to play ball wide. That's why they can get a yellow card from that uh, kind of place. Uh, we don't want uh, plenty of rocks. We want the ball in the hand and use it to be on the, uh, the squad. These are our sevens gladiators who have been selected to defend the Gold Coast title. It's basically a new look team. And coaches are hoping that they can use this to their advantage. Shalvin Chan. FBC Sports. Meanwhile, the Fiji 7 side presented its Itatau to the president Ratu Epeli Nailatakao this morning. The team was reminded that they were carrying the Fiji flag and the entire nation would be behind them when the side plays in Australia. The players were told by the president to play their hearts out and do Fiji proud. You don't have to ask for the blessings of the people of Fiji, you already have them. The main thing is in the performance over there. I don't have any doubt that you've done the preparations. Knowing your coach, the way we all do, you would have put in a thorough grounding for all of them. Also today, the Fiji women's seven side departed for India and the Asian World Cup qualifiers this weekend. The side with six debutants are banking on their unknowns to give them victory and lay the platform for the World Cup in Russia. Here's Andrew Singh with more. Out to match their male counterparts, our Fijiana departed the country today feeling confident. A low-key farewell did not deter the side which is aiming to play in Moscow next year. We've spoken with the girls uh, how tough, how hard and how very important this, uh, this tournament is and uh, we need to win one of the spots to get into the World Cup. I think our CEO has spoken to us last Sunday and how important it is that we need to win this. Kunetumba was roped in at the last minute to lead the team but he's confident her brigade will deliver the goods. Knowing that we have six debutants on the team, uh, it doesn't deter us. It, uh, it's kind of a morale booster, taking a gamble. And then, uh, yeah, we just hope for the best that we'll come back and uh, on our way to Moscow. The no-nonsense skipper has also laid down the rule for her team and is going for nothing less than a win in India. My aim is for us to win the Asian qualifier. The side needs to finish in the top three to qualify for the World Cup and is pulled with Chinese Taipei South Korea and Sri Lanka. Indra Singh, FBC Sports. The Super Soccer team hopes to end their 29-year wait to lay, to lay their hands on the Lloyd Fairbrother Trophy at the court's IDC just a week away. Shelvin Chand caught up with the team during their midday training session to find out how they aim to win the IDC. Almost three decades to have one's name on the IDC winners list is a long wait. Suva has started trading twice a day and believes they can do it this time around. The weather is also favoring us from today. And we had a good uh, midday se session to today. And the coach is also happy for the turn out of the boys. The capital side was given a boost today with Finance Pacific railing financial support behind the whites. The management believes the winds of change have started blowing. 
negotiating with this for a couple of years, but it could not even do it because of our poor performance. And now they have got confidence in our team. The morale in camp is high, and there is belief that the team can win the IDC this year. Oh, we aim to uh, take the top yeah, of, the, of the pool. And we aim to go to as far as final and also to take the victory for the Suva is in a tough pool and has to play the likes of Mba, Nandi and Rewa. Sunday next week will tell if the 29-year wait becomes a 30-year wait or not. Shalvin Chand, FBC Sports. And the selection of the Fiji Mbati for the World Cup next year took its first step today with the Battle of the Mbati. The New South Wales residents took on the Fiji residents. The visitors made up of players playing in first and second division in Australia came out victors by 14 points to 12. Both teams scored two tries apiece, but a penalty to New South Wales proved to be the match clincher. The coaching panel will select players for the training squad from this game, while players from the NRL get an automatic selection. Fiji hopes to repeat their feat of 2009 when the Bartis made it to the semi-final of the World Cup. And that's it for sports tonight.